hile hii watu wamefanya they are going to cause a revolution in this country na musidaut ati hatuwezi fanya hiyo kitu mzungu alikuwa hapa mbebero alikuwa ame colonize 500 million people dunia nzima the largest empire na ni hapa tu Kenya aliona vita ya ukombozi wa inchi ujipigie makofu wakati wa moi labda nyinyi wengine wa mungu amezaliwa wakati wa moi ni watu wawili watatu maximum sita ambao walisema huyu mtu tutamuondoa tunataka multi partisan tumuondoe na wakati huo katiba ilikuwa nasema katiba before 2010 kufikiria si hata kusema kufikiria ati rais hayuko kwa kiti unapelekwa jela it is called treason kufikiria si hata kusema na alipeleka watu wengi gerezani si aliondoka si mmoja aliondoka ha don't underestimate yourselves msiwe na hofu ati hatuwezi kufanya hii kitu hii kitu msidanganywe na mtu hakuna suluhu ingine ni revolution peke yake revolution in thinking revolution in strategy na revolution kuondoa hawa tu even without an election because people power is supreme msingoje mambo ya election hapa sudan mliona nini wa mama walisimama kweli ama si kweli walisema hii hii huyu mtu bei ya mkate imefika hapa a a tutamuondoa hii yetu kwa sababu Kenya is a country of fasts kwa Afrika we are a country of fasts hapa haitakuwa na damu haitakuwa na bunduki hii itakuwa ya wananchi na roho ya wa Kenya that is what is going to happen and that's what we must call on kwa sababu kwa kizungu inaitwa the people's choice theory ukiona viongozi ambao wanajitetea mambo yao tu hawajali wananchi wananchi wanachukua power and they use the people's choice theory wao wenyewe wanaondoa hao watu So musiwa na hofu I said before you are not Kenyan because you are born in Kenya you are born you are Kenyan because Kenya is born in you Musimame namna hiyo In 2013 na 2014 mimi ndio nilipatia omtata documents ya kwenda kotini apige hii kitu in 2014 mimi ndio nilisponsor mlikuwa nasikia kelele ya Alfred Kitel hiyo ilikuwa education yangu kwa wabunge wapige hii kitu uhuru mwenyewe ndugu yangu alinipigia usiku mmoja he talked to me for two hours kuniambia i am sabotaging the economy of kenya na atafunga mimi nikamwambia please go ahead i must divorce myself and educate the people of this country hii maneno na nilikuwa mtu wa biashara si mtu wa siasa i have been very vocal lenaola alitupa hiyo kesi tukaisukuma ikaenda supreme court and see supreme court court of appeal in 2020 and court of appeal said this thing is null and void sisi ndio tulikuwa nyuma ya hiyo kitu so sisema tulinyamaza tulikuwa nafanya kazi but in the back kwa sababu sisi hatusi watu wa siasa hatukuwa watu wa siasa sasa tunazungumza 
Kwa sababu tuko mbele, si ndio? Tuko mbele. And I'll tell you, hii kitu haitaisha leo. Haitaisha leo. 